What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general reading. Capsule side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general reading. Okay, so I got a channel message in, and um, the uh, message I uh, received was um, save space for spiritual messages, is, is what I heard. Save space for fear, spiritual messages. So you plug it in however that resonates in your own life. Um, save space for spiritual messages. So I feel um, this is, um, it could be for you or somebody you're connected to, but I feel somebody um, feels you are a safe space to receive spiritual messages. Whether it's um, you or somebody you're connected to, or you could be, or it could be for you, and you feel like somebody is a safe space to receive spiritual messages. Excuse me. However, that resonates in your life. Um, I feel it could be you feeling like somebody is a safe space to receive spiritual messages, or you are the safe space where somebody receives spiritual messages. But they feel like wherever, um, whoever you are, you're obviously light side spiritualist. I'll tell you that. You work on the spiritual realm in some shape, form, or fashion on the light side, and you receive spiritual messages from the spiritual realm. Now, however you receive them, clairaudience, clairvoyant, um, psychic medium messages, uh, dreams, dreamscape, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you receive spiritual messages, spiritual downloads from the spiritual realm on the light side. Um, and somebody either feels you are a safe space to receive them or you feel somebody else is a safe space to receive them. Now, a safe space, meaning no hate, no bullying, no beratement, no harassment of people. It is a very safe space to come and receive these spiritual messages, uh, which is a wonderful feeling. Um, it's a wonderful feeling, and that's a huge reason, just to let everybody know. And I've said it before on here, and I'll say it again. That's a huge reason why I took the comments, public comments off. And I, I keep the live comments on when I do live, but that's a huge reason why I, I turned off the public comments because too many people were harassing and bullying and berating my subscribers. And it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So um, that was my goal was to create a safe space for people to come and receive spiritual messages. But I feel one of you guys is creating a safe space for someone to come and receive spiritual messages Wherever, whether you do it on social media or whether you do it in person or what have you, um, however that resonates for you, uh, that's a really beautiful message. It really, really is. I've been pulling in a lot of pedophile interviews tonight, a lot. So this is a wonderful um, balance to those, to be honest. It's a wonderful balance. So you plug it in how it resonates. We have soulmate on the bottom of the deck. Number 14 could be a very significant number in your life in some shape or more fashion. Number 14, it could be a possible age of a child you're connected to or your child. It could be a possible date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible lottery number. Uh, number 14. You create a very safe space for many people to come receive spiritual messages. You're about to have some one soulmate come in and help you promote and grow your business for some many. Help promote and grow your business. Pay it forward energy. Wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard you create a very safe space. To receive spiritual messages now for some i feel you feel it's a safe space at someone's social media platform or 3d interaction to receive spiritual messages but for i think a bulk of you guys you are the ones that create the safe space to receive spiritual messages i heard for some you're going to have one particular soulmate come in and help you i heard promote and grow your business for some several people um, pay it forward energy. So it's pay it forward energy that are not expecting any monetary um, compensation for it. They're going to do it out of the goodness of their heart. 
um, which is really beautiful energy. I really believe in paying it forward energy. Um, I believe it promotes and grows the world in a very positive way. Um, so congrats to whoever this is for. For some, you're going to have one person soulmate energy come in and help you with this. For some, several. Um, everybody's on different time and life paths, so you have to plug the messages in, however they resonate, if it resonates for you. Now, a soulmate is different than a twin flame, for anybody who doesn't know. A soulmate is somebody that um, is comes in your life to help you in a positive, manifest, uh, positive, copacetic way. Um, helping energy. It's It doesn't mean you date them. It doesn't mean you have wild, crazy sex with them. In fact, it's very opposite. It's somebody that comes in and helps you in some shape, form, or fashion. You could have one of these people in your life, or you could have 10 million of these people in your life. Everybody's on different time and life paths. So your number of soulmates in your life depends on your social interactions with people, your positive or negative interactions with people, life experiences, etc., etc. So um, I just want to differentiate between soulmates and twin flames because many people get them confused. Soulmate is helping energy. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't turn a soulmate into a twin flame down the line if both people consent and agree to it, because you can, um, if feelings occur and et cetera, et cetera. But that's not the general purpose of a soulmate. Temptation reversed. Number 19 can be very significant in someone's life as well. Number 19, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, a possible social security card number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, etc., etc., etc. Number 19, temptation reversed. You have really helped the person about to help promote you get rid of addictions. Some alcohol addiction, some sex addictions, some drug addictions. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, you guys, I'm loving this energy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So for whoever this is for, heard some you're going to have one soulmate come in and help promote and grow your business. Some kind of, uh, I think some kind of spiritual business, light side business. You could be a prophet, you could be a healer, um, you could be an empath, you could be a light worker. Um, you could be a tarot card reader. You could be um, uh, just, you could be somebody that comes on here and you receive, um, you get messages from the spiritual realm. I'll tell you that, whoever you are. You get downloads from the spiritual realm. So clear audience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, psychic medium abilities, um, dreamscape, etc., etc., etc. Whoever you are. Um, but I heard you have helped somebody overcome some kind of addictions in their life. For some, gambling. Okay, for some gambling, for some sex addictions, for some alcoholism, for some drugs. So uh, you have to plug these in your life however it resonates. For some, they will tell you this. For some, they will not. Okay, for some, they will tell you this. For some, they will not. So for some, they will tell you and thank you and say, hey, they're honest and straight with you and say, hey, you know, you really... I'm helping promote, you've really helped me, you helped me with blah, 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 whether it was gambling, sex, uh, uh, drugs, or alcoholism, for some they will not. I'm assuming they will just help promote you and move on in their merry way in life and pay it forward. Um, but temptation reversed in this situation is them getting, you helping them get rid of some kind of addictions in their life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, they were once tempted by drugs, sex, addi drug addiction, sex addictions, alcoholism, or gambling, but they have overcome their addictions, either one or all though, one or two plus of those. But, um, a large part of that is you. And that's why they're about to help promote your business, your light side, spiritual business in whatever shape, form, or fashion that is. All of this is wonderful. Spirit messages you have reflected. Alchemy, number 25. Number 25 could be a very significant number in your life. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible date of birth number, social security card number, green card number, uh, lottery number, uh, jersey number, etc. Number 25, alchemy. It's really going to help your business grow in a huge way and get your, your business out there for many others to see it. So many have been blocking it, but it's about the bottom's about to fall out. About to get huge exposure. 
Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. This is beautiful. I heard um, many people have been trying to block your business, uh, whoever you are. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, you do public platforms, but for some, it could be 3D. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But um, they've been trying to block your business. I heard many people, so it's not, it, it's not just one person. When you have a team of people trying to block you, you know you're strong and you're powerful. I just want to say that. When you've got a team of freaking people blocking you, you know you're a strong and powerful force in the universe. I just want to throw that out there. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, so kudos to you. Kudos to you for being so strong. Um, but I heard basically um, you're about to have a, um, your business is about to go up in a huge way because you have put so much positive out to the universe. You put so much positive out to the universe and helped so many people. Um, I heard many people were trying to block it, but the bottom's about to fall out. And many more are about to help some way more than the ones that are blocking. Okay, I heard many more are about to help way more than the ones that are blocking. So for some, you just might have one or two blocking you. For some, many people. But the, I feel the ones that are many people blocking your business. heard they're trying to suppress your business, try to, trying to suppress it so many people don't know about your business, basically. They don't want the good word to get out for strategic reasons. But I heard the bottom's about to fall out. And many, way, way more, many more people that want to help you are going to help you altruistically in a positive copacetic pay it forward manner because you have helped them and it's about to balance the scales in a positive way because of all these haters blocking you basically so alchemy in this uh, instance is your business going up alchemy is the process of creating process of manifesting process of um, putting something out to the universe whether it's positive or negative in this case it's positive you are putting very positive out there so you're growing and manifesting, but you've got so many damn haters out there. Um, but it's about to backfire on their ass because way many more people want to help you because you have put such positive out in the universe and you've helped people overcome addictions. I mean, that's strong energy. When you help people overcome addictions, no matter what they are, that's very strong, uh, not strong addiction, strong energy, very strong. So your alchemy is strong, but these group of people trying to block you knows it is, but it's about... It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Well, you go with your bad self, you alchemist you. You manifest a you. Woo, woo, woo. Just saying, just saying. You go with your bad self. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. I heard the bottom's about to fall out, meaning... um. Your alchemy and your manifestation is about to be at all-time high. I'm feeling. I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic, reasoning, intuition. Um, and kudos. Your haters are going to hate. They're hating now. But they're really going to hate when you're doing really well financially. But that's their negative karma. They should have just left your ass alone and moved on and done their life. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Um, namaste.